So there's a uh, technique that you can use when you're writing formulas in Google Sheets and really in any spreadsheet application called an expanding reference. And this is helpful to, on certain formulas that you might be writing depending on what you're trying to do. And what this is is, is a reference that allows you to, as that uh, basically a reference within your set, within your formula that expands as it uh, moves down your rows. So let me show you what I mean. In this example, I have um, a list of sales and sales dates, sales that have occurred um, with the number of sales happening right here. So this is the number of sales that have happened right here. And what I'm going to do in this column is I'm going to create a running total. So um, let's label our label our column there. And if I go equals sum, because sum will give me a, uh, a running total, right? But now I'm going to use what we call an expanding reference. So it gets bigger as I go down the line. So because at first, I want to just total up this number right here, right? So at first, I just want to total up this one. And then the next line down, I want to go one and seven. And the next one down, one, seven, and four. So it's a running total. It's adding up as we go, right? So to do that, it's using a combination of absolute references and then um, subjective references according to the active cell. So let me show you what I mean. So if I click on this, I'm going to sum this and then hit F4 to add the absolute values in here. If you don't know what those are, we have a video on that, but basically it's just putting those dollar signs in front of that uh, reference. Okay. And actually we want, yeah, we want that there. Okay. So, and then we're going to go through by typing a colon and then we're going to, then we're going to click, oops, we might have to type it. So then we'll type C2. And now what we're reading is we're going to sum everything C2 through C2. So in this cell, it's just adding up C2, right? Which our sum will equal one. But because we added in those absolute references, if we copy this and paste it down and look at what it reads now, so we have C2 through C3. And then we copy this and paste it down. We have C2 through C4. And if I click within this, you can see here that the cells that I'm adding up, it's, it's following me down. So my reference doesn't move with me. And just to give you an idea of how this works, I'm going to show you how it works without if I don't use those absolute references. So if I go equals sum and I go C2 through C2, well, now it's adding it up, right? But if I copy and move down, now what it's doing is it's just adding C3 through C3. Okay, it's not keeping that reference of C2. And it's because when we did this, we had these little dollar signs there that make it absolute. Okay, in fact, Google Sheets even recognize that I'm doing the same cell, so it doesn't even do through C3, it just knows I'm adding up C3, right? So if I take this running total and I just push that chain, or, or whoops, if I grab this and push that down, oh, it doesn't. Just grab it and drag. Then it will give me a running total until at the end we should have C2 through C102, which is my final row. And that's how you can create a running total using uh, absolute uh, or using expanding reference and using absolute references.